Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and it is time for a 10 pack of War of the Spark because I want to. I am looking for some planeswalkers. There is one in every pack, I believe. There we go. War of the Spark uh, was a fun set. I liked it. Um, let's see here. Relentless Advance, Jaya's Greeting, Unlikely Aid. Uh, we got uh, Uncommons, we got Mowu, Loyal Companion, Dovin's Veto. This is a card that we will scan up. I forgot to turn on the scanner. There it is. Um, I believe that one's okay. And then we got an Uncommon Planeswalker. Dovin's Veto is 354. And Hiri Storm of Stone is probably not. We got Ravnica at War for a rare. And exile all multicolored permanents for four. Seems a little busted, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And a wolf in a mountain. All right, moving on. Sky Theater Strix. A sergeant, a dam breaker, a crotch wrangler. Yeah. So. I consider this to be a Ravnica set, and I do include it in my Ravnica theme cube. Um, I'm a little selective about it. We got Prison Realm, Evolution Sage, which I think might be okay. We got another Dovin's Veto. There we go. And Sarkhan the Masterless is actually a card I've been looking for um, to make my Super Friends deck that I had created on Arena year when this set was out. Um, legendary Planeswalker Sarkin. Whenever a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker you control, each dragon you control deals one damage to that creature. So the idea is you get a bunch of other Planeswalkers out and then you can plus one until e end of turn each Planeswalker you control becomes a 4-4 four, four red dragon creature and gains flying. So if you got a bunch of them out there you can smash them or you can minus three it to create a 4-4 four, four red dragon creature. Tell you with flying, he costs five. Great card. I like him. He's not super expensive. 75 cents in fact. Uh, but I'll be using that one. So Island and an Assassin token. Sometimes I check out the tokens, but that one was nothing really. So, all right. Yep, let's make some super friends here. Uh, I'm definitely looking for a Liliana. If we can get one out of here. Chain Whip Cyclops. Spell Keeper Weird. Keep it weird. Law Rune Enforcer. Mana Geode. Charm Stray Eternal. Skylord. Yeah, so like my cube that I have for my Ravnica theme, it includes all the original Ravnica sets, all the return to Ravnica, Gate Crash, and, but it, it, when I include my War of the Sparks, I'm actually not including the cards that are adjacent to the Amiket plane, which was invading Ravnica, right? So that's that. Price of Betrayal, Same It, Tyrant Smasher, and Vivian's Arc Bow, the legendary artifact, and discard a card, look at the top X card of your library. Let me put a creature card with converted mana cost extra less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library on a ran in a random order. I think that's solid. Uh, I wonder if it sees any play. Eh, not really, apparently. So it seems like it would be a good commander card. Just ramp up and put out your creatures. Got a Raging Crunch. Vampire Opportunist. Erratic Visionary, Lazatep Reaver. We have the Electromancer, 10th District Legionnaire, Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage. Um, I think this one might be a little bit. And then we got another Vivian's Arcbow. Very interesting. Which is strange. I believe these all came out of um, the same box. But maybe I'm not sure about that. So there we go. Had a couple boxes that were open and they might have got mixed together, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Got the Goblin Assault Team. There's an Assailant. Bane Hound. Got a Leyline Prowler. I think this might be worth a little bit. Is it? 29 cents. It's not. It's been reprinted. Grateful Apparition. That's a card that I'm going to pull for myself for another time. I'll make a proliferate deck. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. A Dreadhorde Butcher. I'm not sure which of these. I probably should just check and see which commons and uncommons are good. Dreadhorde Butcher for a uh, black and a red. It's a 1-1 a one -one haste. When it deals combat damage to a player, Planeswalker put a 1-1 counter on it. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power. 
too many target. It was a good card when it was in standard. I don't know what it is now. It's over a buck for the promo pack version. The regular version is 95 cents, so it's okay. All right, next up, one more pack. Let's do it. Turret Ogre. Skulker. Crocodile. Giant Growth. Oops, did I miss one? Nope, and there's a foil there. Eternal Skylord. Bleeding Edge. Rescuer Sphinx. Nissa, who shakes the world. Yep, I definitely am going to want one of these. Build some decks around her. So for five, you uh, whenever you tap a force for mana, add an additional green. Plus one to put three one one counters on up to one target non creature landing control. On tap, it becomes a zero zero elemental. And vigilance and haste, it's still a land, it's pretty powerful. And you can minus eight or to you get an emblem with lands you control, have indestructible. Search your library for any number of force cards, put them onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle your library. Nissa, who shakes the world. It's 529. There we go. So we got a, a, a foil rare roll reversal. Exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type for two blue and a red. So I'm not sure how often you would want to do that. We got to type it in. Roll reversal for the spark. Nothing big as a normal one. And as a foil, it's 89 cents. And a zombie army. There we go. War of the Spark. Pack number five. I don't know what it is. More like eight. Dam Breaker. Time Twist. Gateway Plaza. D Spark. I'm not sure if this is worth much, but I mean, it's an okay card. It's been printed in Commander 2020. And a few other things. Strixhaven Mystical Archives. So it's only 50 cents, but I'll keep it. Jaya and Neheb, Dreadhorde Champion for four. is a legendary zombie Minotaur Warrior. Trample whenever he deals combat damage to a player. Plains while you may discard any number of cards. If you do, draw that many cards and add that much red mana. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana at steps and phases. And that's pretty solid right there. It's not solid enough, apparently. Got Tybalt's Rager and Foil. There we go. All right. Need a mythic here. A mythic planeswalker. Contentious plan. Epiphany. Got Paradise Druid. Uh, good card. I don't know if it's worth a whole lot. No, nope, but I'll keep it for myself. Angras Rampage. Another one I'll keep for myself. Teo the Shield Mage. You have Hexproof. I don't think that's worth a whole lot either. And then there's a roll reversal and a foil rising populace. So did not get what we needed there. I'll save that token for later. Created by Kazmina, which is another one I'm looking for. We've got a Dusk Mantle Operative. Power Helix. Jace's Triumph. Ugin's Conjurant. Rally of Wings. Karn the Great Creator. Awesome. Four, it's a Karn Planeswalker. Comes in with five. Activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. Until your next turn, up to one target non-creature artifact becomes an artifact creature. Power and toughness each equal to this converted mana cost. Or, more importantly, you minus two. You may choose an artifact card you own from outside of the game or in exile. Reveal that card and put it into your hand. That's a good one. Eleven bucks. And a zombie. All right, last pack. Let's do it. What can we get out of it? Crush the Descent. Sacrifice the Gideon. Thirst of Soren. Arlen's Wolf. We got a Prismite. We got a Devouring Hellion. Gleaming Overseer. The Wanderer. Very cool. And a Soul Diviner. Wanderer is not much, but it's one I'm looking for. Soul Diviner. 41 cents. All right, that's it. For War of the Spark, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.